Recently, we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and countless people have been asking me for a tutorial on my map animations. Firstly, you need to get a satellite image for your animation. You can do this by going to Google Maps and taking a screenshot or using another tool. After this, drag your image into Adobe After Effects. This is where most of the video creation process happens. To create the date, add some placeholder text and place it where you desire. Usually, I like to put my date at the top center. Next, go to the Effects slash Presets tab and drag and drop the slider control effect onto your text. Then, find the drop-down for source text. After this, paste this code in. The link to it can be found in the description of this video. Next, make sure to set the date by scrolling or typing in this effects panel. In order to create the front line, you need to draw it out using the pen tool. Do the same for all sides of the battle. I find the colors mix best when the red is on top and the blue underneath. If you want to have a fade-in to your animation, you can make it like so. Now, to start animating the front line, go to the shape layer you are animating, then press Shape 1 and go to Path 1. Also, make sure to set the Stroke 1 blending mode to multiply so that you can animate encirclements. Just so you know, this does not mean that the shape layer can encircle itself. This will be explained soon. Anyways, set a keyframe and start animating your front line like so. As you can see, the German 6th Army has been encircled. The way we can show this in the animation is by using a mask. Firstly, create a mask around the encircled point and set the blending mode to Add, whilst making sure to check the inverted box. Then, move to the frame right before the encirclement happens, and move the mask off-screen. This will make it look as though the area has been encircled. While you continue animating, make sure to adjust the mask to keep the effect throughout the animation. After you have finished animating the front line, drag and drop your flags to represent army units. In order to animate them, you need to set the position keyframes and animate them like so. When a unit is destroyed like this one, simply fade it out using opacity keyframes. Lastly, we need to animate the army sizes for each side. To do this, create some placeholder text like before and add the point control effect to it. Next, go to the source text dropdown and paste in this code, which is also in the description. Now, you can change the number of people fighting. After this, in order to dynamically animate the position of the text, draw a mask and set its path options to this mask. Next, you can animate the points by setting a point, control keyframe, and periodically changing the value. Last of all, animate the position of the text by going to Masks, Mask 1, then set the Mask Path keyframe. Once you're finished, export and edit your animation. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. And thank you even more for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Thank you.